it was never guaranteed that the studio would be able to pull something like this off. After all, a lot has changed in 13 years. Zombies have lost their bite, co-op shooters are commonplace, and I don't know about you but my patience for unpredictable AI systems has wavered. After a few hours of playtime, Back 4 Blood was able to assuage my fears and convince me that Turtle Rock Studios has something special on its hands here. Back 4 Blood isn't the reanimated corpse of a cult classic from 2008. It's a mutation of the original idea, an evolution, a fast, bloodthirsty, and caustic creature that's set to drag your evenings with friends away from mundane Zoom calls and into a rapturous hell on Earth. We've got this foundation, but we had to plus it. We had to modernize it for today's audience, says Matt O'Driscoll, lead producer. Back 4 Blood is Turtle Rock's game of today. Building on a strong foundation, image credit, Warner Brothers. That foundation is a proven success. Four friends must work cooperatively to move from one safe house to the next, the path forward blocked by hordes of the living dead, the ridden, as they are affectionately named here. As you press onwards, you'll be upgrading weapons, bolstering supplies, and strengthening your bond as a group to face escalating challenges. Eventually, the characters begin to quip with one another in-game as they become soaked to the bone with discarded gore and viscera. Later, alliances begin to fracture between friends on the other side of the screen as the difficulty ramps up and communication drops to frantic whispers. By the time you reach the set pieces that headline chapters of the campaign, you'll be one stray melee hit away from accidentally downing whoever stole that ammunition you so desperately wanted earlier. The Walking Dead sought to show us how humans are the real evil of the zombie apocalypse, and Back 4 Blood will let you live it. That tension is part of what makes Back 4 Blood so appealing. There's this ever-present sense that the whole adventure could come crashing down around you at any time, particularly if one of your party members proves to be too volatile to follow orders or vulnerable to hold a defensive line on their own. 45 minutes into our play session, I made the mistake of remarking that the early chapters of the campaign felt too easy, that we should have turned the initial underlying difficulty up before beginning the campaign. It wasn't long before I came to regret those words, as we began to bicker over who triggered an event before we were ready to face it, robbing us of a valuable, continue game, token. For the record, I'd like to state that it was probably Sam Loveridge, global editor-in-chief of Games Radar. Although, to be fair to my boss, Sam can only shoulder so much of the blame for failure. Back 4 Blood is always looking for new and exciting ways to screw you over. The AI director really keeps an eye on how you're going through the level.